All right, guys. So this is it. This is the video where I'm going to show you exactly how you guys can uh, can claim these tokens. Hopefully, potentially in the future, if they do become distributed. And uh, these are the steps you're going to need to take. Uh, I'm just going to leave out of this video the first step, which is buying your crypto. I would recommend you buy crypto from crypto.com. Uh, the reasons for that are because it is uh, very simple, very easy to do a registration through their app. And the second reason is their uh, their withdrawal fees are quite reasonable as compared to some of the you know more mainstream competitors such as Coinbase or Bitstamp. For example, Bitstamp will take 0.05 Ethereum off you. That's currently at, at a value of $1,000 per Ethereum. That's $50 fee, so completely unacceptable. Whereas Crypto.com will take one-tenth of that, so 0.005 Ethereum, so essentially $5. So I recommend you guys do that. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to use my Ethereum that I already have in my wallet, in my MetaMask wallet. So I'm going to send it over to my brand new MetaMask wallet. And I'm going to send over some USDC as well, just like I recommend. So I'm going to be sending over 250 of USDC and I'm going to send over 0.1 Ethereum to my new MetaMask wallet. And I'm going to then use that new MetaMask wallet to perform a trade on DYDX. And then I'm going to withdraw that money back into my... Um, MetaMask and see how much I'm net with in terms of Ethereum. Now, the, why I'm doing this right now is it's currently just past midnight Central European time, which is 2300 hours uh, UTC. Uh, you guys can figure out what that means for you. I've noticed now two nights in a row, it, it becomes quite qu fairly quiet after midnight for me here. So currently the gas situation is like this. This is really important to monitor. Let's do a quick refresh. No, that's not... Okay, I see this is F5 does something for my uh, video capture, so I'm just going to have to manually refresh here. So yeah, it's well below 100, and the low one is at 34, and the average is at 49. So you guys are going to want to offer a little bit over the average to be quick, but deposits and withdrawals, you can take time. I'm just going to offer up slightly over this amount, so make sure my deposits go through, or you can just leave it at defaults and that MetaMask do all the calculations. I'm not going to get into details, into the weeds of gas costs in this particular video, because just make it too long. I just want to keep it focused on the actual process, but just do make sure that you do it during quiet time. So like I said, well below 100 on the fast, and then in the 30s on the low, and below 50 on the average. This, I'm happy enough with the situation. I think we'll get by all right in terms of just confirmation times and also uh, costs themselves, but We'll get into the weeds of this in another video, so make sure you're subscribed, make sure you follow this channel because, you know, I'm going to try and explain this as much as I can. And I'll also ask questions in the comments below if you have, if you have any, and I'm going to address those as they pop in. So let's get started, guys. Um, so much for the intro. So I'm here on my brand new MetaMask, so as you can see, this is blank. So I'm going to need to put some crypto in here. So let's go over to my older account. Well, first of all, what I have to do is I have to get the address. So you see the address is here. I just hover over. It says copy to clipboard. So I'm just going to click into it and it's copied my address. So now I'm going to go over to my old address here, my old MetaMask. See how easy this is, guys? And all I'm going to do is I'm going to send crypto. And I'm just going to control V, paste my address. Now then what you want to do is you want to make sure that it's the same address. So see, the last three are 6664 and the first are 0x9e. Just go back here and double check that's the same. You don't want to be sending your crypto to somebody else. So let's have another look here. So 66.4 and 0x9e. Yeah, that's the same. That's where I want to go. Right. Um, let's go back here. We're happy with that. New address detected. Click here to add to your address book. I could do that if I wanted to. I don't know. Should I? No, I'm going to. I'm not going to do it at this stage. So Ethereum. Yeah, that's it. So the amount of Ethereum I want to send, so I'm going to send 0 0.1 Ethereum. Yeah, that's about $124 worth at the current price. So you see the, the average here is a 133 for transaction fees. So I'm just going to click on that. Okay, just look at the advanced options. Just see what the guess is. It's 51. It looks just about perfect. So I'm just going to leave that as is. And then we'll go next. And here we see that it's going to cost me 133 in terms of fees to move this Ethereum. And the entire amount is going to be 0.101. So that's the gas fee, and that's the amount of the MACD sending. If you're sending altcoins, uh, this is going to be essentially the same as the gas fee. Um, okay, so I just do edit again here. I'm just going to see the same. You can change from slow to average to fast if you want to. But I'm, I'm quite happy this is, should go through pretty quickly. 
and you can also go on to the advanced step and then change the gas limit here if you want to. Okay, just go a little bit above the average because that means you're going to gain a lot of time and you're not, it's not going to cost you a lot more in terms of uh, ether. Okay, so I'm happy enough with that. I'm just going to close that off and I'm going to confirm. So now we wait. Now we play the waiting game. So while we do that, just look at the... Well, actually, already confirmed. Did you see that, guys, how fast that was? So you just got to pick the right time and the right price and things can move really quickly. Okay, so let's move over to my other wallet and see if we can see our Ethereum here. Yeah, Ethereum is already here. Did you see guys how fast that was? Brilliant, okay. Let's check the situation with the gas. Do a quick refresh. Yeah, oh, even better guys, even better. All right, let's keep going. All right, back here, I'm gonna need some USDC. So I'm gonna move some USDC now. Um, recipient, yes. Okay, maybe I should have saved this. <laughs> uh, let's go back to my to my other wallet, to my new wallet. And let's click here again to copy it. And let's go back to my original wallet. And let's just paste it this way. And yeah, that's still the same. And let's put it in. So let's just put um, Firefox 1 and save. Okay, now we're not going to be with ETH, we're going to be with USDC. So let's grab some USDC. There we go. That's our dollar stablecoin. And we will be moving $250 stablecoins. $200 for the trade and $50 for the fee on the DYDX. Um, so again, well, see, this is more expensive now. So what I want to be a little bit pickier because I'm not moving Ether, I'm moving a coin, which seems to be a more complicated task. So that costs more money, more ETH. So I'm going to go into the best options and I'm just going to say 50 cent, 46 ETH. Yeah, it's just dropped down a little bit. But if I look at the actual gas prices, it's showing me here 38, right? So I just want to offer a little bit more than average. So I'm just going to go maybe 40. Okay. Now that might mean my transaction might get stuck if suddenly this gets busier, right? So we'll see. It's a little bit of a tricky, tricky thing, but it's going to save me some money, okay? So I want to keep that below five because that's what you guys are going to be paying when you are sending your transactions um, from a centralized exchange, probably about five dollars. Uh, okay, so 250 USDC, that's our transaction. And then go next and we confirm. So now we're seeing here, we this is our gas fee and the total is 250 USDC plus the amount of gas, which is the same as this, as you can see. So let's confirm that. And it is on the blockchain. Now let's do a quick refresh here, see if we're still above the average. We are not, we are below the average now. So we could get stuck in the in the transaction pool for a little while. Um, but we, we saved a dollar or two. Now, I, you know, for you guys, generally these transactions, you can take time with them. The only thing where you want to really hurry up is when you're making the actual trade on DYDX. That's where you want to then make sure it's quick. Uh, but you don't have control over gas costs there anyway. It's really all down to DYDX. So they're going to be set the price. So you guys are keeping an eye on the on the gas prices and then we see them low enough and you can really just look at DYDX as well and they'll be up updating those uh, their own prices. And when they go below 40, uh, it's time to pull the trigger or when they're in the low 40s because that's what I found is the most frequently the price that you're going to be able to get quite frequently. Um, and you're not going to be able to get much below that, even if you're waiting for days and days and days, you know. And it could go up to 80 as well if you're unlucky. So wait until you're, it's below 50, low 40s, even below 40 is even better. Um, and that's the time to pull the trigger. When you're just making transactions from a wallet to a wallet and all that sort of stuff, um, you know, you can just set up a lower gas price and then wait a couple of minutes extra and, and save a few bucks. But if you don't want to mess around, just leave it at default. At the default, just make sure that when you're actually making these transactions, that um, that you know the gas costs are quite low. So make sure it's below 60, below 50, below 40. That's a decent time to do it, and it shouldn't be too costly to make these transactions happen. But I'm just going to try to speed things up a little bit because I'm making the video. I want to make it the whole thing in one go. I don't want to make any cuts, so you guys see the whole story. But um, like I said, with you guys, if you want to wait some, uh, save some money, just reduce those gas costs. So as you can see, because I went cheap, um, I'm now stuck out of the average. And 
you know, I could be stuck in the in the transaction pool for a while. And we can actually monitor. I'll show you how guys how you can monitor your transaction as well. Let's open this up and go through our activity. And you see we have one transaction in the queue. And we can either cancel or speed it up. But just remember everything costs money, speeding and canceling. And um, it's pending. So just click on this little blue arrow here. And we can see, so we offered 40 way. We went fairly cheap. But we, we were still paying 431. So you see, uh, transferring these tokens can cost uh, a bit of money. And during the bear market, you guys could get a transaction through for one way. Guys, just for one way, it was really cheap. And the Ether was like between 100 and 200. So it was a lot cheaper than it is right now because the, the, the price is a combination of the amount of gas units used and the gas price. As you can see here, I suppose we have time to go through this now, given that we're waiting anyway. So this is the amount of units that's using up times the amount of gas price, or which is measured in way. So you just multiply these two numbers and you get the amount of ether that you're going to have to pay. So this is uh, 10 to the power of minus 9. <laughs> just so it's not like if you multiply that you're going to get a heart attack. So first you have to divide this by a billion, then multiply by this number, and then you're going to get this number. Okay, so I guess we have time to do that as well. So let's bring up the calculator and let's do this. Okay, so let's copy this number here, go into the calculator, paste it in here, and then go times 40, right, and then divide this by a billion. So three nine zeros, that's a million, and that's a billion. And we get 0 0.0034, which is 0 0.003472, as you can see there. So you see how this works? And then multiply that by the ETH price right now. So let's check ETH price. Let's go here, go to CoinGecko, and look up ETH price. Ethereum price currently about 12.02. So let's multiply that by 12.02, multiply 12.02, and we get 41.17. And we go in here, enter MetaMask, and see the mats that are displayed here. Um, where is that other Bitcoin? Um, yeah, there we go, 4.31. And our calculation came out at 4.17, so it's pretty close. Obviously, the price isn't going to be exactly the same, but you saw the amount of ether was exactly the same. So that's how this works. And obviously, being cheap has kind of backfired on us a little bit here. So let's click on this green arrow here, view on ether scan, and see what's happening with our transaction. Right, as you can see, we offered up 40 way, and um, yeah, our current wait time is estimated to be between five and eight minutes. So, um, yeah, this, this can get extended if the network starts to get busy. So, you know, it's a bit of a gamble, but it's a way for you guys to save money. So I wanted to show you that anyway, so I'm not too fussed with, uh, with what's happened. It's just another opportunity to learn. So we're now at 49 Gwei for average. So, yeah, it's okay. It's still good. It's stable. It's stable. That's fine. So, okay, let's try and and actually speed up the transaction. Let's maybe try and do that as well, okay? So let's go back into the MathMask. So this is turning into a bit of a MathMask tutorial as well. And let's click speed up here, okay? So let's go into the advanced and let's up our gas price. So let's offer 50 gold. Oh. Transaction just confirmed. Yay! Well, that's where you would do it if you wanted to speed it, but it's actually gone through. So a little bit of patience can save you quite a bit of money. So if I was to offer up 50 GUI, that would be 534 versus 44 GUI, which would be, you know, and then what did I do there? 44 GUI, which is 472. And if I was to offer 40 GUI, that would be 435. See, so let's just close this and, um, and look at our transaction here. So success, and we pay 40 way at a cost of current ETH price 2.78. So what I would normally recommend, well, that's what I do. I just rebuy Ether immediately. 
you know, or I buy my pre buy some ether, like I expect I would expect to spend the uh, let's say you know 10 20 25 but well, 25 is usually the minimum amount you can buy 25 dollars worth of would be the minimum amount you can buy on let's say bitstamp so i'll just go ahead and buy you know 25 dollars worth of or euros or whatever you trade in worth of ethereum before i start doing these so i make sure i maintain my ethereum level where it is i don't lose out on ethereum because obviously i'm bullish on ethereum i expand ethereum, ethereum's price to rise in the long term and i don't really worry about this intraday you know volatility or a few days up or down Okay, so let's have a look and see whether we have our 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 our, our um yeah sorry I'm in the wrong place we've received our USDC so let's open up our MetaMask and we can't see USDC so why is that well I, we need to add a token so ETH is in by default but different tokens we need to add so let's add token and just do a quick search USDC so use this coin there we go and just click go next. And add tokens. And now you see we have 250 USDC. Yay! And we have 0.1 ETH. This is all we need. Okay, now it's time to get busy. Yay! And if you want to add a token that doesn't exist already, you just go to a place like CoinGecko. Let's do it real quick so we don't waste time. And let's say you look up something weird like Singlab, which would definitely not be in the in the MetaMask already. You can see this address here, contract address. Just copy this, click to copy. I love this click to copy. Don't have even have to do a control C. And then you just go down to the bottom, add token and custom token and put the address. And it pulls up the symbol already and just go next and add tokens. And go back to the account, just click here on the account one. And we're back here. And we now have sin added as well. Okay. Now, let's get jiggy with it. Let's go to DYDX and let's get ourselves qualified for this airdrop that I think it's coming. Okay, so this is what it looks like when you first uh, visit the site. So it tells you all the different options that you have. So what we're going to do is we're going to do spot trading. So direct trade assets directly. Margin is just too damn expensive in terms of fees. Okay, first thing we're going to do is we're going to connect the wallet. So click on the blue button here, connect wallet. Okay, let me pause the video here because this is getting boring. Okay guys, looks like we're back in business. It might have just been me overdoing my tabs on the Chrome browser because I've restarted the Chrome browser and now it looks like everything is responding much better. So here we're back at Firefox. Here's our wallet ready to go, so 0 0.1 ETH and 250 USDC. And let's try and connect again. So see that came up much faster. Let's hit MetaMask, and it's coming up here. So what you have to do is first you have to approve access from DYDX to your MetaMask. So that's what you're going to be doing here. So just hit Next, and Connect. Simple as. Okay, so notifications. If you want to sign up to notifications, uh, you do that. That's fine. That's actually okay. I would recommend you guys do that. Just put your email, and they'll be able to send you notifications. I'm not going to do that right now because... Um, this is just for demonstration purposes, but otherwise I would say go ahead and and uh, turn on notifications. Okay, right, so now we're here. You can see uh, there's nothing anywhere. So margin, there's blanks everywhere, and per perps, perpetuals, also blanks. Everything is blank. So first we have to do is we have to deposit our, our um, USDC onto the exchange. So that's what we're going to do now. Let's have a quick look at our gas situation. So yeah, it's gets slightly worse, but it's still okay. Let's go here and let's hit the... So make sure you're on your spot. Okay, not margin, not perpetuals, but spot. Okay, and then you hit, and then you're going to hit your... You can use um, die USDC, but it doesn't really matter. As long as it's a spot account here, up here, you're okay. Okay, let's hit deposit here on the blue button. And we're going to confirm a few things. So you're... You, you are not a citizen or resident of the United States. No, I am not. If you are, it's up to you whether you want to be honest about it or not. But if you take this, you are, you're going to have to, you're not going to be able to access perpetuals. You are currently accessing and will not in the future access this site or trade on DYDX while located 
within the United States, including by using VPN software or any other technique to mask your physical location. Yeah, that's grand. You must physically settle all margin trades you make using DYDX. Okay. If you fail to maintain sufficient collateral, your position positions may be liquidated, including a penalty of up to 5%. That's why, guys, you never want to get liquidated. Just close their positions if they get close to liquidation. Agree and log in. Right, so here we go. The fun part's about to start. The MetaMask pops up. Gosh, it's still it's going all slow again on me. Okay, so it's a signature request. So we're just going to sign here first. And this option pops up here. So what we can do is we can choose our wallet here. And we're going to deposit into our... See, default is margin account, guys. So just be careful. That's what I did initially. Put money into the margin account. And then it was useless because I didn't, couldn't do anything in the margin account. Just put in the spot account. And asset we're going to be depositing is going to be USDC coin. Okay. And then we're going to click enable USDC. MetaMask pops up again. Again, we need to. Okay, this is the this is the transfer part. So we're going to be transferring zero. This is the fee. What? Hold on two seconds. This is just for allowing the trade to spend USDC. It's going to cost us four dollars just for allowing it, just for authorizing. That seems like a lot. You could edit this. Let me see. Okay, that's that's the bit I hadn't calculated in initially. If I go edit, and that's on the slow end of things. Hmm. Gosh. Okay. Well, there's another fee for you. Let's confirm. There's no other way around it, guys. We have to confirm. Maybe, hopefully, it won't cost as much. But yikes! Hurts to be paying all these fees. But if we get the big airdrop, guys, it's going to be so worth it. We're going to be so glad that we did. And a lot of people are going to get scared away by these fees and all this complexity and everything. And that's why it's far more likely that we're going to get the fees and the price is going to go up much higher because there'll be less people with the tokens and more people looking to buy them. So this is all good. Okay, transactions are confirmed view on Etherscan. I would love to view this on Etherscan. How much did it cost me? Well, look at this. It actually ended up costing 44 guay. A uh, total of 264. So approved USDC for trade on DYDX solar margin. Okay, not as bad as we were as uh, it, it seemed initially. Okay, let's get into the fun part. Okay, so we've approved USDC. Now we have to deposit. So now down here it says balance zero. Um, Hold on, so what amount? What amount do we want to deposit? So we, we'll just go ahead and deposit the whole thing, 250. Okay, our balance is going to go down to zero, but that's not a problem. You have to always make sure you have Ether left in your wallet, but to USDC you can just send the whole thing up through. Okay, and just hit confirm deposit. So now again we have the option of uh, adjusting this. So it's showing us it's going to cost us 14 euro to deposit. Shouldn't really be that expensive. Let me look at the gas tracker here. So 44, 45. Yeah, it's going up a bit. Let's see in terms of. Let's edit this. Okay. I don't know, man. It shouldn't. I don't think it'll cost that much. Let's just leave it as is. Save and confirm. I don't think it'll cost that much. At 44 way, it should cost that much. We notice that the current website try to use remove Web3 API. If the site appears to be broken, please click here. No, that's okay. Okay, so we are now waiting for this to happen, I presume. Let's look at the activity. Yeah, so we're pending the transfer of 250 USDC over to DYDX. And let's just click on so it's pending okay oh, I cannot see this on either scan why is this refresh 
Normally this is a little area you can watch it on Etherscan. <laughs> okay, transaction confirmed. Okay, let's see how much that cost us. Okay, well that was expensive. That was expensive. Now, you could put in a lower quay, but still, it looks like this uses a lot of gas. So, ouch, that hurt. Like, we could offer like 30 way and just wait. But it could be a long wait, maybe 35 way and wait. It was pretty quick as you guys saw, so yeah, like a 40, a 35, we'll probably get it done as well within a reasonable amount of time. Hold on, did this thing just refresh? And it's only now, wait, what, what did the, what? <laughs> okay, we'll see, we'll see in the end what our balance looks like on our MetaMask. Slightly confusing, unless Ether just collapsed. I don't know what happened, but let's, let's continue for the moment now. So now we have our 250 USDC in our, in our spot account, and we're gonna be selecting the DAI USDC market. And here we're going to be purchasing 200 DAI, 200 DAI, and currently that's going to cost us 50 USDC. So I'm not happy to pay 50 USDC. I actually wouldn't even be able to, because that would put me in negative balance. So we have to wait for this fee to drop below 50. And um, yeah, it looks like the the network's just gotten a little bit busier right now. Yeah, you see, average up to 58. So this is where we get we get, get patient, guys. This is where we get patient and we wait. We wait this out. There's no rush on this. You've done, you know, the main bit, you've got the money there, and now you wait for this to go below 50. You can easily get around 40. So if you just wait, you can save 10 USD here. Uh, the thing is, with the 10 USD left, we're drawing the 10 USD, it's probably not gonna make much sense because the fee is gonna cost you so about the same amount. So what I would recommend you guys do, just leave that, whatever's left, leave it in the in the YDX and then wait for like a really quiet moment where the gas costs are really low or just put in like a really low gas uh, fee and just let that sit there in the mempool for as long as it wants to sit there and just come through for you at some stage. But yeah, just leaving a little bit of money is gonna accrue some interest, you know, I would, I would just leave it here, whatever's left, and maybe that might increase your likelihood of getting an airdrop as well. It's just having a certain balance on the account. Maybe that'll be a thing. We don't know exactly, but we're thinking just interacting, doing the trade, that should be enough. But just leaving a little bit there. You can even leave die on it as well, and that accrue interest. Uh, but if, if you don't want to do that, I'm going to show you how much, you know, how to then just withdraw. It's just a reversible. If you just did, just withdraw back into your MetaMask and then uh, deposit into your centralized, whatever your choices, I would recommend crypto.com, back into your centralized exchange, and then, oh, look, look, 44. Okay, let's just place order now. We just sign it, sign, and there we go. So that's filled already. Bam! So, okay, what happened here? Let's quickly just look at what, what the gas situation was at the time of this. Look, just drop down again. See that? Just a little bit of patience, guys. So we now have 200 DAI and 10 USDC left. So that was perfect. Easy peasy lemon squeezy, right? Here you can see our trade. You can see all the details. So we market bought 200 DAI. It got filled at 200 DAI at a price of 1.006. And that's it, filled. We're all done here. Now we can, now we can withdraw our DAI. So let's go to our uh, account here, spot account, and just hit withdraw. We're going to withdraw from our spot account into our own wallet. And the asset is going to be DAI. And the amount is going to just hit max here, the whole thing. And then we're going to confirm withdraw while the things are cheap. Okay, so it's probably overestimating this by a lot. Just let, let's have a quick look and see what we're offering. How much you guys? 44, about the same as before. We'll probably get away with less, but I'm not gonna penny pinch here. Um, let's just leave it as is and then close this bit and confirm. So, 
let's go into our MATLASK. And now we have a padding withdrawal. I just don't know why it doesn't give me the option to follow this on Etherscan. Maybe because, I don't know, something has gone on in the background. I'll be curious to see how much ETH we have left. Okay, so confirm. Just click on this notification. So that appears to have cost us 10 to withdraw at 44 Gui. So again, you could drop this to 34 and save some money. You know, so if we do quick math here, if we put this at 34, 34 instead of 44, divide by 44 times $10, 39, that would only cost us $8. So it's definitely money to save. Just put the lower gas fee in and just wait it up. But you know, I'm making the video, so I just don't want to wait here forever. So I just sped it up a little bit. And uh, let's have a look at that more MetaMask. So now we have, let's go back into our assets here. So as you can see, we've burned through, well, less than 0.2 ETH. And we now have to add DAI. So in order to see DAI, what I'm going to do is I'm, I'm going to need the, the contract for DAI. I could, I'm just going to go into SIDLAV here. Uh, so I'm into CoinGecko. Type in DAI. And again, just go to contract address here and click this little icon beside it to copy it. Open up MetaMask. And go scroll down to the bottom, hit add token, and just search. Oh, actually, I just do this and just add it like this. I don't have to. Yeah, die is already in there. So we're just going to select it like this and confirm and set add. And there's my 200 die. And now, boys and girls, this price is wrong. Uh, this The MetaMask reports the wrong price for die. Die is $1. You can see that here. So don't get your hopes up. <laughs> you just made money. You haven't. That's $200. And then all you need to do is just send um, your ETH and your DAI back to your centralized exchange. The same process that we used before for sending ETH and USDC over to this MetaMask address. And you can sell it and cash out into your bank account. Or you can repeat the process again. That didn't take long, did it? And we've just potentially made ourselves an airdrop that's going to be worth between $500 and $1,000. US dollars. Obviously, it cost us some money in fees. We're going to add tally that up and getting it back to the central exchange is going to cost us another maybe five to ten dollars. Uh, but again, just put just low ball it, just put in the low like 40 way, don't put more than 40 way, and it should, shouldn't cost you too much. Transferring uh, ether is cheap, transferring uh, ERC20 coins is a little bit more expensive as we've seen, but another five to ten, so another maybe 15 to get it back into your central exchange accounts. And, uh, and that's it. That's all it's going to cost you. And you've potentially made yourself $500, um, dollars, maybe $1,000. And just repeat this process um, 10 times, and that could be worth $5,000. Or it could be worth nothing, guys. I don't know, but I think the odds are very high. And it's worth doing at least a couple of times. All right, that's it. Good luck to all of us. Do make sure you do this before the end of January, before they announce the, the big upgrade to la Layer 2 with Starkware. Once that's done, I think, you know, maybe they might announce the token drop at the same time because they're going to want to create some hype, you know, get new users on board because that's really what they really want. All right, if you haven't watched my other two videos, I'm going to pop them up somewhere on the screen right now. And they're going to both be uh, at the end of the this video as well. Make sure you watch the other two videos. The part where doesn't, the, the, the red one and then the part two, the blue like thumbnail video. Make sure you watch those two because that's going to, if you're not sure that this, why this would actually work, I've explained them about uh, those two things really well, but watch both videos. And just use 2x speed, watch them faster, okay? Just put the little gear icon there on YouTube and do 2x speeds. I'm going to show you here right quick, YouTube, youtube.com. And um, you guys will be a guest for now. Let's click altcoins. In this video, we're going to be talking about... And hit the little gear icon here, see if it's HD. Playback speed, hit that, and put 2x, okay? And just listen to 2x.
three coins that could potentially make you very, very rich in 2021. This is a wonderful time machine, a wonderful time saver. So instead of spending 20 minutes watching this video, I'm only going to be spending 10 minutes. All right, guys, because I know this has been a little bit confusing, you know, doing it, you know, all the raw data. I just want to show you guys an overview of what this actually looks like. Okay, so this is what it looks like. First, you're going to create a MetaMask wallet. Then you're going to buy 0.1 ETH from Crypto.com and you're going to buy 250 USDC from Crypto.com or somewhere else, maybe Bitstamp. Then send all your USDC and ETH to MetaMask. Then deposit 250 USDC to DYDX spot account. Then we're going to buy 200 DAI with USDC at a market order on the spot exchange. This is all important. Okay. And then we draw those 200 DAI to our MetaMask and then finally transfer 200 DAI to our exchange and sell for USD and withdraw. Okay. So that's this last bit. Or you could go back and transfer to another MetaMask account buy some USDC with that, and then repeat the whole process, which you're going to have to add some ETH as well. So you're going to have to do some careful planning, you know, in terms of doing it multiple times, but this is what one cycle generally will look like. Just to give a bit of an overview. All right, guys, it's time to talk about the costs of doing this transaction. <clears throat> so I've gone through every step individually. I recorded the ETH cost, cost. I calculated the gas uh, cost, uh, sorry, the gas amount via the gas cost that I paid. So I'm gonna actually going to make this available to my patrons. So if you want to get a copy of this, uh, make sure you support me on Patreon on level one. I'm going to make this available to everybody on level one. Or I'm thinking about putting it a layer one. So it doesn't matter. It'll be the L1 thing. Okay, so then you can just put in your cost here and it'll calculate everything for you. Now, on this particular run, it cost me $26. But remember, this is based on the ETH price, the current ETH price of $12.40. Now, this could go up if the ETH price goes up. It depends on the price that you paid for ETH. It doesn't matter if the ETH goes up or down. It essentially depends on the price that you pay for ETH at the time that you bought it. Okay, so I just got it the current price. I, I bought it at, at lower, but it doesn't really matter. I could sell it. Uh, listen, I'm getting off track here. It depends on the price of ETH. So this is the really important figure, the amount of ETH. And then based on the cost, you'll get the dollar cost. Okay. So this is the first bit. This is the transactions I did via MetaMask. Um, now, if you're going to be using a centralized exchange, you're going to be paying for these two deposits here. Um, based on crypto.com, you're going to be paying 0.005 ETH and 9 USDC. So that's going to cost you $6.2 and $9 respectively. And in that case, you guys are going to be paying 37, let me call that 37, 13, instead of just 26, 11. So if you're going to do this multiple times, it would make sense for you to just withdraw once uh, the whole amount of USDC and the whole amount of ETH that you plan on using to one of your MetaMask accounts, and then just use MetaMask from that point onwards to distribute to other accounts. But like I said, that's going to, you know, make it very easy to track you exactly, you know, that all these wallets belong to the same person. So you may not want to do that, but on the other hand, you're going to be saving a ton of money, especially on USDC. There is another option, guys. You could also use Bitstamp for USDC and then use Crypto.com for your Ether because um, let's look at the fees. The fees are, you know, very, a huge amount. I don't know whether uh, Bitstamp just hasn't got around to updating their USDC withdrawal cost yet because they're only charging currently $3 to withdraw, whereas... Uh, Whereas crypto.com is charging nine and so is Binance. Binance a few days ago was only charging about 7.5 and now they're at nine. So just be aware that these fees constantly change. So you're going to have to be on, on the ball to make sure you find the right deals. But what I found is USDC is cheapest to withdraw from, um, from Bitstamp currently at $3 at three USDC. Whereas uh, Crypto.com and Binance are much cheaper to draw Ethereum from, okay, at 0 0.005, whereas Bitstamp is going to charge you 0 0.05. Okay, so just, let's just finish this bit here, and then I'm going to go over to their website, and we're going to show you how you can check these fees. So it's going to be either this or this, depending on which route you take. Then to withdraw uh, back into your, you know, fiat exchange, you're going to pay an additional 418, just blockchain costs. And then you're going to pay some fees when you withdraw your fiat and you're going to pay some fees where you exchange crypto for fiat 
but those fees are going to be relatively minor compared to these fees. Um, I know in Bitstamp to withdraw, I think it's five euro, probably five US dollars to withdraw within the SEPA uh, range. If it's going to be a wire transfer that's going to go overseas in the US system, it might might be more. It's most likely going to be more expensive. So just adjust this table to your own preference, to your own situation, where you're in Australia or God knows where else in the world you might be from. Okay, this is for me and for you, it might be slightly different. So the total disk is going to be $30. And then we add the 40 USD C fee from doing a trade on DYDX. It comes to a total cost of $70 today, right now for me. Okay, so this is a $70 ticket to potentially $500 to maybe even $1,000 worth uh, to an airdrop that's going to be worth between these two figures. This is based on my estimates uh, because like I said before the Uniswap was worth uh, up to nearly 3000 at the top of the price. The price will develop usually within 24 to 48 hours. So don't sell immediately, at least don't sell the whole thing in one go. Maybe sell half and then see what happens with the other half and then sell the other half depending on what happens, either higher or lower. Um, but I, I'm pretty sure you should be able to extract at least $500 out of this airdrop, maybe even a thousand. So if you do 10 of these, we're looking between 5,000 and 10,000 worth of free money from the airdrops based on experiences we've, we've had so far with Uniswap and OneInch. Now, the, 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 these are complete, this is complete speculation. None of this may transpire or it may transpire in a very different way. But based on my experience, I've just come up with this plan to potentially get this kind of uh, money, or maybe the plan is wrong, maybe you need a different plan, or maybe no plan at all will work because they're not gonna do an airdrop. But I've given you all the information, you have three videos now to check, to look through, to make up your own minds. It's all there for you to think through. Okay, so if you're gonna go the centralized exchange route, you're gonna be paying a little bit more because the fees are gonna be a little bit higher if you use crypto.com for everything, or but if you are being really smart about it and you use Bitstamp for your USDC and they don't actually change the fee in the meantime, then you could potentially be, you know, saving another six dollars per, per transaction. Okay, let's go over to the exchange just to show you that this fee situation is real. As you can see from Bitstamp here, ETH withdrawal fees change to reflect network conditions and an update just came a few days, well, about two weeks ago, um, January 5th, 2021. And they have now set the withdrawal at 0 0.05, which you know, guys, is ridiculous. We've just done a transaction on ETH and it only cost us, what, a dollar or something? Only cost us $1.33 to withdraw ETH. So it's ridiculous that they're charging $50. So this from Crypto.com seems much more reasonable, but still more expensive than the reality would be. The reality is this, guys, 0 0.001. <laughs> That's what it cost us to do it. You saw it on chain, and this is what the, the chain, the exchanger are charging you. And then Bitstamp just went full ape on us and <laughs> decided, ah, oh, no, we're just going to charge ten times more. I don't know how that's possible. They even had it higher at zero point zero seven. This should be gone down a lot, you know. But anyway, that's the Bitstamp situation. In terms of other currencies, you can see for USDC coin, they're actually charging only three USDC unless this isn't updated. I don't know. I'll log in later to see, but I don't have any USDC. I'd have to buy some USDC to test. Uh, in terms of Binance, you can see Binance here, uh, depending on what chain you're transferring your USDC. If you do it on ERC20, so Ethereum, it's going to cost you $9.06. It's a lot cheaper to do it on, on their own blockchain, on BEEP2 uh, and on BEEP20. I think these are all Binance chains, but I'm not sure. But obviously it's got it's costing a lot less. So you can see the problem with the Ethereum network. It's congestion and the gas fees are outrageous. That's why all you gamers out there can't get your graphics cards because it's super profitable to mine Ethereum right now. So everybody's stepping up these new cards. And um, yeah, sorry gamers. Uh, but like I said, guys, if you want to get some free money out of, uh, out of uh, Ethereum or uh, just essentially crypto, this is how you guys can do it. And then buy yourself a, a new graphics card be from scalpers if needs be, because you can get, you'll can get you be getting free money. Um, and then crypto.com, I want to show you here. Uh, so a minimum withdrawal is 18, and then the withdrawal fee is nine. And for Ethereum, it's 0 0.05. Okay, so this is 
um, the cost analysis. Right, one thing I forgot to mention is you will want to keep some ETH in your MetaMask to then be able to claim, sell, and transfer back to your central exchange. So I've done a quick math based on what I've done. When I claimed uni, it cost me this much ether. It, so it was very expensive. The way was, I paid a very high way. Just, it was, the network was crazy at the time. So I just said, fine, just pay. I want these tokens now. Um, so yeah, that was about $30 based on today's ETH prices. It wasn't as much back then. And uh, the swap cost me this much at 82 way. So that's fairly you know, reasonable amount of way to pay when the network is, you know, semi-busy. And then to transfer, it will do it during the quiet times. It doesn't matter, you can do this whenever, just at 53 way or less. And then you'd want to keep about 0 0.04 ETH in your, in your MetaMask to make sure you can claim. The main thing is you can claim and sell. You can transfer whenever then. But you want to claim it and you want to sell it. And you may want to double that in case you want to sell 50 and 50. So I'd say keep 0 0.05 ETH or maybe 0 0.06 ETH have some margin there. The claim probably not going to be that expensive though. I'd say you know, you know, just to keep it simple, 0 0.04 or 0 0.05 should be plenty ETH left in each of your MetaMask wallets so that you can then claim the airdrop when it arrives, sell it, and then withdraw it. Otherwise, you don't have to, but you'll have to then transfer back ETH into all of those wallets, which is going to cost you more in terms of ETH again. So just leave some ETH there hanging. You can always withdraw it later. Or you could transfer it to DAI and then sell DAI. But if you're going to have to sell DAI to get Ether because you're going to need Ether, uh, you're just going to pay this swap price again. But it's got, at least the amount is going to stay stable while you wait. If you're worried that ETH is going to go down in price, then you may want to sell most of your ETH to DAI, but keep enough to then go back from ETH to DAI to ETH to then be able to do these things. Um, yeah, that's it. Just a bit I forgot. Quite important though. Quite important. Make sure you have some ETH left in your MetaMask that you can actually claim when it happens. Because when it happens, you want to do it immediately. Don't wait because generally the price will be the best within the first 24 to 48 hours. After that, God knows what's going to happen. It may go down, it may go up, but you want to be ready to, go, to claim as soon as that happens. And that's why you want to be subscribed here because I'm going to tell you guys when this happens as well. If you're not big into crypto and you're not constantly checking everything 10, 20, 20 times a day, you got me to cover your backs, okay? That's what I do all the time. So, you know, if you subscribe to this channel and you watch YouTube every day, you will find out soon enough. Or you can just watch it yourself. So if you have any questions, drop them down below. Make sure you slap a like on this video. Make sure you subscribe with the bell because there'll be more of these videos coming up. There may well be more airdrops coming on the way during this next couple of months of this hopefully bull run that we're going to be seeing. And there's there's tons of money to be made, guys, if you're just focused and, you, and you're ready to learn and you're ready to do some work. It's not a lot of work and it's not hard work, right? It's pretty easy it's, as, as I've uh, shown you today. All right, good luck, guys. Let's make some money.